wake up nights off and turn in. Now my bloodshot eyes are burning. Their diverse pop punk style is punctuated by clever lyrics. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Headley. Yo, we're too busy to I don't think there is any accurate portrayal of uh, any specific in influences of ours. It's important for us to not set up too many borders and boundaries when we're writing, and, and that's what this record is. It's, it's a really cool picture of all the different things that we like to come up with. We recorded this record in like four different parts. We used a couple different producers, so uh, a couple friends at home, and then we did part of it in New Jersey and part of it down in L.A. So I think that really lent us getting to experiment with each of these songs as individual songs. The song remains the same, but it's, it's just about how you kind of color in between the lines. You touched on this a bit about the new album. Why don't you tell us kind of what you were going for? We took shape as we were going. There wasn't any goal. Here's, you know, we, nobody knew what it was going to look like or sound like at the outset of the writing process. And that's really the thing when you're creating like a body work like that and also just like writing to get stuff out, try to find the best songs and also, you know, find, you know, like the cohesion in your topics kind of come together after a while. So um, I think we're all excited for the song called Sweater Song on the record. He said forever girl, I know you hate the weather girl, so maybe you should hold on to my sweater girl. It was actually the only song on the record we've ever performed live, and it was the way it actually took shape was very much based on how people reacted to it live. The sweater song, is that an homage to Weezer at all? To what? To Weezer's story. Weezer? No. I won't let anybody uh, copyright a, a word for song titles. How do you think you guys have grown individually and as a band over the years? The music has improved in every way. The sounds of the recordings has improved. Uh, the writing has improved, the content of those of the songs has improved, and as people we've improved how we treat one another, how we perform together, just more cohesive, just any, any relationship you have that's important to you that you nurture for four, five, ten years, hopefully gets better, and uh, so far it's just a steady incline of getting better, I hope. It takes, it takes work to coexist, and I think the four of us kind of have, you know, have it down to a, a science of it. You know, we, we, we all understand each other fairly well, and we know that if we're going to be doing something as lucky as this, we should be having fun doing it, and that's, you know, it's a priority, really, because there's no point in wasting away an experience like this, arguing or complaining. Out of my 